So Terry, you know, when you read the Bible, you can't escape the fact of God's love towards us. You know, he says in scripture, you know, the great commandment, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Then he tells us to love others. You can't escape that, can you? No way. Mm -mm. So another place in scripture, it says, if we love God and want to follow Jesus Christ and love him, then it tells us we should obey him and all the things he commanded us to do. So what do you think, in your opinion, are some of the things our Lord has told us to do? So Steve, I tell you, when we begin to realize the love that he has for us and the price that he has paid for us, one of the last things that uh, he has done is that uh, just before his ascension, he said to us, to, uh, he commanded us to, to go out and to tell others about the gospel and to, uh, to be witnesses and to be able to spread the gospel. One of the last things that Jesus told us to do. Yeah, so basically you're telling us that was the Great Commission, exactly. to go into the world, to tell others about his love, to make disciples, and to exactly. teach everybody to follow him, basically to obey him. Well, you know what I did the other day is that I did research on the internet of the things the Lord had commanded us to do if we, if we obey him. You know, so I went to maybe 10 different sites, 10 different places on the internet and typed in, what does our Lord command us to do? Or what should we do if we follow him? You know, and, I, and we come up with all kinds of great things we should do. He commanded us to do a lot of things, you know, besides the great commandment to love God and love others. He commands us to read his word, to study to be approved, you know, to, to pray for others, pray for our enemies. There's so many things that he's told us to do. But you know what I found out after doing that research on the internet? What? That the Great Commission to go and to tell was absent from almost all of them except a couple of them. And the ones that I found were listed the Great Commission, it was at the bottom of the list. Well, boy, Steve, it, it should be the, the number one on the list, not the bottom of the list. But uh, as I talk to different people who are uh, within the body of Christ and I talk to them I find that there seems to be a lack of people wanting to go out to share the gospel with others and I've asked myself many times and I've asked others why why is it that people will not go out and share their faith <clears throat> one is I think that a lot of times we know what we believe but a lot of times we don't know why we believe and I think also it uh, people are intimidated yeah I think you're right you know I think that that even though the Lord told us to go and to do all this, you know, to go out and tell people others, we are intimidated. And I think the reason we are intimidated is because we don't really have the answers and we don't study to have those answers. You know, you know as well as I do, one of our favorite scriptures is 1 Peter 3.15, which says we have to have answers to the faith that is in us. We have to be able to, to answer the people who ask. But then it says in scripture, we need to study to be approved so what, what, why not? Why, why do people shy away from that all the time? I, again, Steve, that is, that's a big question. First, uh, first of all, I, I don't know if the church, the body of Christ, those within the leadership, I don't know if they promote that. Uh, we're involved in so many different things within the body of Christ, which is good, good things. But sometimes I don't think the, the church uh, realize that this is, this is the Great Commission. This, uh, this is, uh, when we leave our church or when we leave our house, we are literally going into our mission field. So we're called to, to go out to do this. So I think the church is lacking in this area. And I, too, I do too, you know. Another passage in scripture is that we are ambassadors. It tells us we are ambassadors. We are representatives, representatives of the kingdom of God in this world. Well, we know who ambassadors are. We have ambassadors here in the United States that are sent to other nations to represent our nation and what we believe and our interests. It's the same thing in the kingdom of God. We belong to the kingdom of God. We are ambassadors to this planet Earth to show or to tell people about God's kingdom. When you love somebody, you want to talk about them. Absolutely. And, and uh, the more I get into the scripture, the more I read the Bible, the more I realize the relationship the love that he has for me and 
the love that I have for Him. He has not only become my Lord and my Savior, Steve, but He's also become my best friend. He's always been there when others have failed me and have not been there. I love Him, Steve, and I want to share with everybody that not only does, does He love me and He loves those that just receive Him, but that He, he wants a relationship. That's right, you know, I, I can't understand this because I know so much of how, what He has done for me. You know, He died for me, yes. that I can have life. Right. You know, He has given me so much, so much, and that relationship with, with Him is so important to me. And, and how know, can you not share that? How can you not go out and say, hey, you know, do you really understand the love of Jesus Christ? Do you understand the love of God? How can you not do that? I don't know if I totally understand His grace. I don't know if I understand it. When I see that uh, He loves me unconditionally, I, He's done everything that needs to be done for me, Steve, and for all of us. All I have to do is to receive His grace, His forgiveness, and then I develop a relationship with Him. So Terry, you know, doing this video, I want to encourage all everybody out there, if you truly love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and you understand the relationship he ha we have with Him and what He has done for us, you know, the peace He has given us, the love He has bestowed upon us, how can you not go out and share that with others? So in wrapping it up, basically the bottom line is, if we love our Lord your God, yes. we will obey Him yes. in all the things He asks us to do, including fulfilling the Great Commission yes. to go into the world and tell people about Jesus Christ.